Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. As I mentioned before the break, there is a story that has surfaced about a confrontation that Britt Baker had with MJF. This has been posted up to the front page of the website by Josh Nason. There are some details in the Wrestling Observer newsletter this week, which is available for subscribers as well. Dr. Britt Baker was suspended by AEW for a backstage incident involving MJF and his girlfriend, backstage interviewer Alicia Atout. Dave Meltzer reported that the popular star who just returned from a lengthy absence due to injuries and a medical issue was either suspended for either one or two weeks and fined by the company's disciplinary committee. It's unknown when the suspension is up, but Baker was absent from this past Wednesday's Dynamite. While there are not a ton of details that have been reported yet as far as every instance here, Meltzer said that it is something that happened at the 250th episode of Dynamite on July 17th, where Baker allegedly said something about MJF, which a tout heard. She then told MJF, who went to where Baker was to confront her about it. Ibu of Wrestling Purists added that the incident happened right after MJF's match with Will Ospreay opened the show with Fightful reporting that the Baker-MJF argument resulted in MJF punching a wall before his hour-long match, so there might be a misprint on the front page there. Fightful's report also stated that Baker exercised frustration about MJF within the women's locker room. The outlet re also reported that they had heard there was a confrontation between Atout and Baker, and that Osprey even talked to Baker at one point. The conflict was apparently due to unresolved issues in the past, and that according to Fightful, the two former friends had a falling out at some point over the last year. AEWHR then launched an investigation in an effort to settle things quickly and talk to people on July 24th. Meltzer was unsure as to what Tony Khan's involvement was as everyone was attempting to keep this under wraps. Baker is set to challenge TBS champion Mercedes Monet at this month's All In from London's Wembley Stadium. And Tom, uh, there are apparently people in that locker room, even those who like Max, that are wondering why Max didn't get suspended. And there are people that are wondering why anyone got suspended at all. Um, any real thoughts on any of this backstage drama that once again we're talking about when it comes to AEW as opposed to something that happened in the ring? Well, this clearly happened weeks ago and uh, is just now getting out. So really, you know, you've got to wonder how big of an impact this story is going to have on anything. Um, I think one of the, one of a few issues here is if you are a wrestler in the locker room, you want that to be a place where you can be open with your thoughts and not have to face repercussions. I don't know what Britt Baker said, but let's look at let's look at the lay of the land. AEW pumped up they promoted, they talked about this Dynamite 250 for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And the biggest spotlight on the show was put on MJF and Will Ospreay. They had a great match, but it did take up an hour of the show. And it did take up a segment that was going to be watched by, you know, the highest amount of viewers on the show. Uh, with the lead off and I can understand the frustration of people in the locker room who you know would have liked to be on an important show like that would have liked to be whenever somebody doesn't get onto a Wrestlemania people are always upset and AEW promoted this show like it was a big deal and a lot of people were left off of it so you know perhaps Brit's frustration came from that um there's been other instances in the past in which, you know, like, look at Wardlow, right? He has never recovered from what happened with MJF. And I don't know what the situation was with that whole storyline, but, uh, you know, 
surely it looks like one person uh, was in control and and kind of you know maybe inadvertently damaged the career of the other. So like there's a lot of factors in play here. You do not want to say something in the locker room and have to worry about somebody going and talking to somebody outside of the locker room. Now, conversely, you know, Alicia Itau, right? She's a new hire there at AEW. But if you're Britt Baker, you've got to imagine that whatever you say in front of her is going to get back to MJF. You know, you just have to be uh, cognizant of that fact, whether, you know, it's the right thing or not. Um, Like I said, I don't know exactly what will happen. Clearly, I wasn't there. But the fact that Britt Baker was suspended, if it was just words, if it was just complaining, if it was, uh, you know, making points about somebody in the business, that's one thing. If she was insulting MJF and Alicia Attout, that's another. So uh, I guess we'll see as more comes out, if more does come out, or this could just be the end of it. And I don't want to play devil's advocate here, but, you know, let's say whatever words they were, that they were harsh enough where it's out. You know, again, people do this at work. People have feelings. They let them out. They are, if they're going out with somebody else they're working with, I mean, this is how clicks function and things happen in any type of job, uh, unfortunately. But if he was told this by a tout and marched himself into the locker room or where Britt was and threw a big spectacle about it where he got so upset during the conversation that he lost control of his, you know, faculties and decided to punch the wall. I mean, I don't know. I mean, those words would seem to be, to me, pretty harsh. And if they were that harsh, why was she only suspended for two weeks here? And why has this been a story that Pete has been floating under the water now, apparently for quite some time since July 17th? So... You know, and it's just, there are a lot of questions that end up coming out of this. You know, Punk and Perry were both suspended, even though it was words from Perry. And Punk was the one that, you know, assaulted him. And I'm not drawing a one-to-one comparison here to these two getting into it and punching a wall. But it kind of sounds like, unless the words were that harsh, was she suspended because she was just dumb enough to say something in front of somebody's girlfriend in the locker room? You know, it just seems to be... Possibly one sided here, which here, there which are people, there are people inside, inside the locker room, room saying. Maybe, maybe the issue was with management as well. You know, maybe she said something disparaging about them. You know, I, well, I, I think don't management know. plays a big plays a part big in this, Tom. And, and I think management, management is a problem that they have because, you know, the leaks there, it's like throwing water through a strainer when it comes to them trying to shore up leaks and things like that. And there seems to always be a situation like this where we're talking about a backstage event in AEW a lot more than we're talking about anything that takes place between the ropes inside the ring. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.